Yeah, hi again, it's Tony from HTLC Communications Limited and um, what we're going to do today is teach you how to make a patch lead. This is obviously your Category 5 cable and that is an RJ45. Um, basically what you need to do is get that from there into there. So basically what you need to do is separate the wires and get them into order. And the order they should be, if you want a T568B, should be white orange, white white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown and brown. So basically what we'll do is get them into order. So as you can see we'll just separate them apart. And try and untangle them the best we can. Okay, so we need white and orange. Orange, like that. Need white and green. Like that. So we've got white, orange, orange, white, green, and then you need the solid blue. Bring that up and around. Okay, and then you need the white blue. This is a bit fiddly, but you get the hang of it. <coughs> okay, white blue. And then you need your solid green, your white brown, and your brown. Like so. Alright, and basically what you need to do, you need to have your RJ45 turned up this way, so the, the uh, clip is towards the bottom, and basically what you do is you put your cable inside the end, and hopefully that should make the right right holes, which that has, push it so it goes as far as it will go, if you can see that, it's gone as far as it will go, gone to the end, okay, and then basically what you need to do, you have a tool which groups it all together, and this is the tool that I use, it's a, uh, a crimping tool, uh, it's basically got a cutter, it's got a hole for you to put your RJ45 and obviously the pins at the end to push the things in. And it's also got uh, a little attachment at the top here which pushes the pin down in the middle there which obviously holds it in place. So basically what we do now, get our RJ45, pop it into the hole and all we then do is squeeze it together. And there we have it. So there's your RJ45. Um, obviously, using this system, you can you can make patch leads of any size. Um, so you don't necessarily need patch boards. Uh, you can run right from socket to socket, etc. Hope this has been some use. If you need any more information, please visit www.htlccommunications.co.uk. Thank you.